There are some who say a young man's greatest dream is not becoming president, but becoming a quarterback in the NFL. It's one of the world's most glamorous professions, and in Carlisle this year, it's become one of training camp's biggest battles. The one quarterback not involved in the fight is silent Joe Theismann. Last year's most valuable player, Joe is firmly planted at number one. He has a new multi-million dollar contract, the respect of his teammates, and the confidence of the coaches. So the big question is, who will back up Joe Theismann and who will back up the backup? Only three quarterbacks will make this team. Two others will be looking for jobs elsewhere. Somehow they, things like that work out, so you, you, we, just, uh, we just keep working them, and uh, what we're doing is working four at a time and letting one drop out of each practice, and uh, that way they're getting more work in. And, uh, our, you know, his main thing is get Joe ready and then, and then find, you know, the, the best two of the, of the other four. The best bet of the other four is newly acquired veteran Jim Hart from St. Louis. He played a record 18 years with the Cardinals and could, if Theismann got hurt, step right in and run this team. I hope my role is going to be that of uh, a backup quarterback to uh, Joe Theismann. Uh, certainly, I'd, I'd like to start, but that's that's not my role here. I understand that, and I'm going to work hard though to prepare myself every week as if I were starting, because that's the role of a backup quarterback. And then the fight for the final third spot. Number 12, Babe Laufenberg, is sitting on the trading block. Bob Holly, number eight, was Theismann's backup last year. He knows the system, but is getting some tough competition from six foot four rookie Jay Schrader, a third round pick from UCLA, who spent the past three years playing minor league baseball. Schrader wants to be the quarterback, but first he has to make the team. There's three guys here that are working and every day coming out trying to do the best they can to, you know, show the coaches that hey, I'm the guy that should be here. When it's your turn, you just have to go up and you've got you to be aware of everything and just make your read and try to hit every pass possible. And every pass counts when you want to be a quarterback in the NFL. In Carlisle, I'm Bruce Rader for TV10 Sports.